you're really hungry and there's a snack in the glove box, take it out and open the bag, please. Whoa. Hi folks, my name is Lionel Johnston here with Bison Transport. We have a great topic to talk about today. We are going to be looking at distracted driving, really with the goal of debunking the myth that you can drive while distracted and still be safe. We have a collection of three drivers, uh, three professional drivers here at Bison Transport that we're going to be running through different uh, scenarios. First of all, we have Mike. He is a professional driver with Bison. He's been with us since 1997. A great uh, example of what a professional uh, driver is in our industry and has well over two million safe driving miles. We also have one of our trainees from our new driver finishing program, uh, Navdeep, and he's actually in his second year, so he's in phase two of, the, of that program. And also we have Roberto, who is actually an in-cab instructor, but what's interesting with his scenario is he started out as a new driver many years ago and has now come full circle to being an in-cab instructor to be able to educate more new drivers like he once was. Okay, so just before we jump into the scenarios, I'm going to take a moment to introduce you to and speak with Eric Roeder from Driver Development. All right, so Eric, this, this command center here looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting. So tell me, what, what are we able to see here you know, from, from this uh, point of view? Well, it's very interesting. Uh, we actually have an overhead view, kind of uh, as the crow flies view. Okay. And then we've got the front view out of the cab of the truck. So this is what the driver is able to see right here then, right? Exactly. Okay. And then we've got the rear view that are essentially their mirrors. Okay. On top of that, we have a monitor here uh, with a camera in the cab that allows us to see uh, you know, what the driver's up to, uh, the kind of facial expressions, or if they're reaching for something, okay. we'll be able to see that okay. uh, in that monitor as well. Okay, so for example, if someone is making a merge or, and they're signaling, but they're not shoulder checking, would we be able to see that with this exactly. setup? Exactly, that's exactly the type of thing we would be able to see okay. and that we look for. And this particular scenario that we're gonna be running is in fact a highway scenario. Okay. Uh, the driver is going to merge onto a highway with fair amount of traffic on the highway and uh, there are some stop vehicles on the side of the road uh, as well. The other vehicles in this scenario are, are random okay. and uh, as such um, they could uh, do unexpected things just like vehicles in real traffic would do. So with the exception of forcing them to do things like uh, taking a phone call. This is a pretty pretty real life scenario we're going through here. Absolutely, it's just like driving in regular highway traffic. So there's really a lot to deal with in this scenario and it'll be interesting to see uh, how drivers deal with this uh, facing multiple distractions, texting, phone call, and uh, reaching for a snack. Wow, that sounds great. Well, how about we get started? If you get a text, please uh, send us a quick response. Oh, there it goes. Oh, right, right. Nice. That's good, that's good, great. See, as soon as it, the notification, his eyes go down, right? Did, uh, did he respond already? trying to text and miss the police car up ahead. Yeah, and he should be in the left lane here, should he not? Well, he should have tried at least. But yeah. Okay, there's a snack for you in the uh, glove box. Take it out and open the bag, please. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. Drifted almost right off the road. Look at that. Whoa, immediately. Imme whoa. Oh. And that happened, that happened so quick, right? Yeah. That you can see people probably thinking, oh, I can just grab this, no problem. Okay, answer the phone, please. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Hello? Hello? 
Hey Roberto, how's it going? Not too bad, how about you, man? Uh, not bad, not bad. Okay. Hey, are you don't busy? Get an here. What's going on? I'm in a construction zone, I'm talking on the phone. It, it sounds like you might be driving. Are you driving? I am, I'm just on my way to Wisconsin. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to distract you. Oh, that's okay. Uh, that should have been answering the phone. <laughs> I will call you back when I'm uh, free. Sorry to bug you while you're driving. I hope you don't miss your exit. Bye. I'll try not to. Okay. Bye. All right, great job. You can just pull over up, uh, up ahead and we're all done. Okay, Roberto, great job. I, I know we threw a, a lot of different variables at you there. So we texted you a whole bunch of times. It was like, hey, are you there? Are you yeah. busy? Why aren't you responding? Yeah. That sort of thing, right? And then a phone call yeah. and, and then reaching for a snack in the glove box. So yeah. all things that, that are not unreasonable that they could happen to a typical driver. But what were your observations going through this uh, scenario? Obviously, these aren't things you do in the real world, no. but what, 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 what was your experience? Oh, it was very hard. Doing what I do, right? I know that distractions are very dangerous in our uh, line of work. Um, so I knew it would be difficult uh, trying to perform this today. But uh, yeah, it was quite challenging. Yeah. It was very hard. Yeah. Very hard. And losing the perspective on the road is just better not <laughs> yeah. have the distractions. Yeah. Out, out of the d different distractions between the texts and the phone call and the snack, was there one that you found more distracting than the others? Uh, texting, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, trying to spell things correctly yeah. and. Uh, and understand the conversation, right? Looking down at the phone and keeping my eyes on the road at the same time. It's uh, next to impossible. Yep. As soon as I reached out for the phone, I seemed to drift. Yeah. And then when I looked back up and I was like way off the road, and I just, it's kind of hard to get back in position. A couple of times I was out of my way yeah. on, the, uh, on the left lane of yeah. the shoulder. That was called a big uh, collision and big problem. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and there are a couple of scenarios where there was a, a police car and a truck on the side of the road and, yeah, yeah, and you were right. actually in the right lane and where normally you would have been in the left, in but the left we're lane. distracted there. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have much time. Yeah. I was texting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the distractions, it just takes your eyes off the road. You just can't focus properly. And then if there's an emergency on the road, it's almost impossible to adjust in time. One thing that really surprised me was how quickly you could see the distracted driving in your driving. And, and with the snack, for example, as soon as you re reached, as soon as you looked away from the road and went to reach, your truck immediately uh, yeah, still went yeah. straight, almost straight into the, the yeah, ditch, right? Yeah. Are there other distractions that you've you know, seen some of your students do? that maybe we haven't covered today? Yeah, a lot of the times my students, they try to reach for the radio uh, and trying to find a station while driving. Uh, okay. That's a big distraction, I find. As we know, our speed limit is only 62 miles per hour. Yeah. But uh, so in the uh, States, some truckers have more speed limit than us. Uh, all of a sudden, they started screaming on you or giving okay. you honks or yeah, yeah. showing you fingers. Right. That could dis distract you too. Yeah, that's one thing that we haven't talked about much in this video, but yeah, someone having road rage or driving yeah, aggressively, yeah, exactly. that is definitely distracting their ability to, to drive safely. So yeah, yeah that's a, a great point. But what could a driver do to eliminate the, those types of distractions? Trying to take the distractions right out of the picture. Yeah. Always remember your job at hand, right, is, uh, is the road and focus on the road. That phone call is not that important. So you can always pull over and make that phone call, right? It's more important to see the person at the end of the day than to talk to via text or a phone call at that time, right? Texting or calling someone can distract you. And even it's a uh, semi, a semi truck or a four baby, uh, four wheeler yeah. can cause a big problem as well. Right. So really, the distractions are the same whether you're driving a big truck or or a car or a motorcycle. Car, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the uh, advice and, and your comments. Uh, with all your expertise, definitely very helpful. Appreciate your yeah. time helping us with this project. No problem. My pleasure. All right. Thank you very much. Great job. So this video here was shot in a controlled environment, but really the purpose of this exercise today was to be able to show how serious the consequences can be around distracted driving. If you really look at a professional driver, they're driving a tractor and a trailer as 80,000 pounds approximately going down the highway at highway speeds. We really need to make sure that we are making a commitment to avoid all distractions. Some stats that say that anytime you have a distraction, whether it's a text message or it's a phone call or you reach for your sunglasses and they drop on the floor, anytime a distraction like that happens, you immediately miss out on approximately 50% of the information that you need to be able to drive safely. 
So if you know that you may get text messages on your phone or notifications, or if you know that someone may be phoning you, or you know it's reasonable that you're going to get hungry during a long leg on your trip, make sure that you're planning for those things in advance. Whatever you need to do, make sure that the distractions are minimized because when we're in the heat of the moment and those distractions happen to us, it's a lot harder to avoid them than if we would have eliminated them all well in advance.